Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make Minecraft 1.15.2 run fast with absolutely no lag. We're going to be going over every single step of making 1.15.2 lag free, increasing FPS, and making you able to get as much FPS as humanly possible, or as technolo technologically possible, out of Minecraft. Now, one thing we are going to be doing is using Optifine in this video. So if you go to the description down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Optifine, that's the second link down below. It's going to take you here. This is actually our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Optifine. As you can see, we have our video tutorial for 1.15.2 here. And if you scroll down, we have our text tutorial. It goes through all of it there. This has helped over 1.5 million people install Optifine, and it will surely help you do the same as well. Getting it set up in-game, running all that stuff, and then you can use this video to optimize Minecraft the best way possible. First and foremost, though, we do have a our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you want a great 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server, go check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So the first thing that we want to do is actually get a test FPS, right? So what we're going to do is I'm in Minecraft here. We're going to open up Minecraft, and I'm just going to go to play.breakdowncraft.com, right? That is our Minecraft server, so we can, you know, add server, and then go breakdowncraft, and then play.breakdowncraft.com breakdowncraft.com and we're going to get like a test FPS rating. So when we click done, there it is, and we can join on in to Breakdown Craft. Now, at this point, we're getting a test FPS rating, right? So we're seeing what our FPS is kind of at the beginning when we first, you know, start this process. So what we're wanting to do here is go ahead and press like FN, F3, and we'll be able to see up here in the top left our FPS. So 208.94, right? That's kind of where we're at right now. 208, 209, and then low, you know, 90s, 20 on the low end. And then if we run around, it's going to go down as we, you know, generate chunks. That's just how it works. So right now, 122, 145, you know, 183, 218, 197. 243, 186, 201, you see somewhere in there, right? The top number is fluctuating between like 150 and 250, and the bottom number is fluctuating between 30 and 100, right? So we'll say 260 right there, right? So 200 for the first number, 60 on the second number. Now I'm actually gonna write that down, and I want you all to take note of that as well. That way when we come back later, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna die here, hold on, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. That way when we come back later, you'll be able to kind of like have your number as well. So whatever yours is up there, and again, all we did was press F3 on our keyboard. Some of you might have to put, press Fn and F3. For me, it's just F3, but yeah, basically push F3 on your keyboard and then write down kind of like the average of what that number is up there. So right now we seem to have stabilized around 240 for our first number, and then the second number we'll say is around... 95 somewhere in there so there we go so 240 95 that's kind of what we're looking at for our fps now let's go ahead and get this higher i know 200 seems pretty high for minecraft and i have a pretty good computer i mean you can actually see over here you know i've got a intel core i7 4790k with two 980 ti's all that stuff so i've got a pretty good computer so i'm getting high fps already we can make it 10 times higher though so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to disconnect here and we're just going to go ahead and quit out of minecraft completely then you should have optifine installed right again we have our in-depth optifine tutorial in the description down below this is going to walk you through everything so come here go through our optifine tutorial then once you've done that you can open up the minecraft launcher now before you go ahead and select that optifine profile and smack play what you need to do is click on the installations tab here now you should have this optifine profile if you don't again go install optifine this is for optifine so once you're here, you should have this Optifine profile. Click these three dots right over here to the right. Click on those and then click on edit. And then in here, we have, you know, our name of our profile and all that stuff. We also have our resolution. Now, resolution is something, if you want, you can turn this down like as far as you want, right? You can turn it down to like 800 by 600 even. But overall, it's not going to make that big of an effect. And I need it to be 1920 by 1080 for you all to be able to see once we get in game. If you are running a very bad computer, though, the smaller Minecraft is, the more FPS you're going to get. So that is something to take note of, maybe making these two numbers smaller. 
What we really want to do though is click on more options here. And then in here, we can actually add more RAM to Minecraft. So uh, right here, we can see that we have XMX two gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. Now I'm gonna go ahead and up that to XMX four gigabytes. Now you may not have room for four gigabytes, right? You should only add four gigabytes if you have at least eight gigabytes of RAM on your computer. Now, I'm not gonna be going through all that in this tutorial. I explain how much RAM you need for even modded Minecraft in a separate video, which is the third link in the description down below. And this is that video here. There's me right there. And this is our video on how to allocate more RAM to Minecraft. And specifically, as you can see, it's a seven minute video all about RAM and we go into the, the depths of what RAM or how much RAM you need, how to see what the maximum amount of RAM you can add is and stuff like that. However, for vanilla Minecraft in this case, four gigabytes is gonna be plenty. You really shouldn't need much more than that. Sometimes you might hear some people say six gigabytes, but four gigabytes should be plenty. Once you've done that, you can click save. And now I'll just click this green play button next to the Optifine profile. Now Optifine is gonna open up and we can really start getting into the nitty gritty of getting everything optimized and getting everything good to go. So. We were actually running Optifine before on, you know, more advanced settings, kind of what I normally run my Optifine settings on. And again, we were getting that 240, 95 number there. 240 top FPS, 95 bottom FPS. Let's go ahead and improve it. So what we want to do is from the main menu here, we want to click on options. Then the first thing we want to do is click on resource packs. Now, I don't have any resource packs installed. I've got a lot over here, but none of them are activated. However, if you do have a selected resource pack over here, at the beginning, we need to turn that off because we're trying to get the most FPS possible. So this video is going to show you how to get the most FPS possible. And then you can go and change things and up your settings and up your render distance and add a resource pack back and see how that affects your FPS. But we want to get your FPS as high as possible. And then you can make changes instead of like, you know, well, I want to use my resource pack. Awesome. But if you can't play Minecraft because your FPS is so low, you might not be able to, right? So go ahead, disable any resource packs you have and then click done. It's going to reload Minecraft. And then once it does that, we'll be able to go ahead and click on the video settings tab here, right? So from video settings, we're gonna go ahead and go through every single setting in here. Now, if you don't have Optifine installed, most of these settings aren't here. That's why Optifine is so important. But what we wanna do is start off with the graphics here. We wanna change that from fancy to fast. Render distance, we're gonna turn it all the way down. Two chunk render distance. And I know some people are like, you can't play Minecraft with two chunk render distance. You can play Minecraft with that. I did for a long time. When I first started playing Minecraft, that's what I played on. If your FPS is so bad, you can't play Minecraft. Two render distance is uh, very playable. And again, this isn't meant for, you know, ease of use or anything to make Minecraft look good. It's meant to make it playable. And again, like I said, you do this, your FPS increases, you might be able to come up here and up this to 12 or even up it to something like a 17 or 18. But, you know, I, most people wouldn't really need to go over a 12 in my experience. Eight is actually what they consider normal, as you can see there on that hover. Two is, is tiny, right? Eight is normal, far is 16, extreme, you know, so, so that's the thing. Basically, two chunks is what we're going to be doing here. Smooth lighting, that needs to be off. Frame rate, always do unlimited frame rate. You could also try to do a V-Sync or limit it to like 60 FPS. However, I would just recommend doing unlimited here because otherwise you're not going to be able to, you know, see any improvement. If you limit your FPS to 60, you're not going to see any FPS improvement over that. So we're going to go ahead and make it unlimited here. Smooth lighting needs to be off. View bobbing doesn't really matter. You can turn it on, turn it off. It's not going to affect performance too much. GUI scale, in theory, this GUI scale right here, this one, this smallest GUI scale possible is going to be the best GUI scale for lag. However, you all need to be able to see. So uh, I'm going I'm to up it to this. You really shouldn't have to change that. It's not gonna have the biggest effect, but it is a little bit of lag reduction if you do that. Use VBOs needs to go ahead and be turned on. Brightness does not affect performance. Crosshair or attack indicator does not affect performance. Dynamic lights need to be turned off. Dynamic FOV, I personally like that off. However, you can turn it on if you want. It really doesn't affect lag too much. However, if you do notice when you start running, it starts lagging. You might want to turn that off. Shaders isn't currently available in Optifine, right? Shaders isn't currently available. However, you definitely do not need to be running any shaders packs if you want to reduce lag in Minecraft. The biggest factor to lag in Minecraft, the first thing you should do if you're lagging is turn off any shaders packs you have. They are extraordinarily resource intensive. So much so I can't even run the highest in shaders packs while I'm recording because my computer just can't handle it. So that is something the first thing you do, turn off all shaders packs. Then move over to quality here. When you click on that button, it's gonna open up all this. Mip map levels needs to be turned all the way down. You can see there, it needs to be turned off. Mitmap type needs to be nearest. 
Androscopic filtering and anti-aliasing both need to be turned all the way off. Currently, they're unavailable in the beta version of Optifine. However, they do need to be off anyway, so we're good there. Emissive textures needs to be off. Some of these are going to require reload, unfortunately. Random entities need to be off. Better snow needs to be off. Better grass needs to be off. Custom fonts needs to be off. Custom colors needs to be off. Natural text alerts. I bet you guys can guess this one. <laughs> it needs to be off. Connected textures. Those also need to be off. After it reloads there, that'll be off. There we go. Custom sky needs to be off. Custom items need to be off. Oh, it's going to reload one more time there. And then we do have custom entity models need to be off. And then last but not least, custom GUIs needs to be off. Boom. Done. All of that needs to be turned off. Literally every single thing on here needs to be turned off except for a uh, map, which needs to be nearest up in the top right. Go ahead and click on done there. Then we can move on to details. Now on this one, guess what? It's either going to be off or it's going to be fast. Some stuff like clouds can be turned off. However, trees need to be uh need to be fast there you can't you can't remove trees from minecraft so we need to have fast trees there cloud height needs to be turned off rain and snow needs to be off that'll only take effect on single player though so for example if you're playing on a multiplayer server you want to turn that to fast sky needs to be off stars off sun and moon off personally i like sun and moon to be on though that's not going to affect performance too much but it will technically affect it a little bit show capes need to be off fog needs to be off fog start doesn't really affect performance, but it, you know, whatever. We're just going to turn it to the closest one there, point two. Translucent blocks need to be fast. Held item tooltips doesn't affect performance. You can leave that on. Dropped items needs to be fast. Show, or entity shadows, excuse me, needs to be off. Vignette needs to be fast. Alternate blocks needs to be off. Swamp colors need to be off. And bio blend needs to be off. So as you can see on this one, it is either off or it is fast. Other than held item tool tips, that one can be left on if you want, or it can be turned off. Doesn't really matter there. But nevertheless, once you've done that, you can click on done. Now the next one, animations here. That one's that one's that one's pretty difficult. Animations is like so it's the hardest one. All you need to do is come into animations and click on all off. That's how difficult that one is. Yep, again, very simple. Click on animations, click on all off, click done, you're, you're done. That's all you need to do. Moving over to performance here. We want to turn smooth FPS on. We want to turn smooth world on, fast render on, fast map on, chunk updates need to be turned to one. Dynamic updates need to be turned to on. Render regions, when those are available, do need to be turned on as long as you have a dedicated graphics card. So for example, I have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, turn that on. If you do not, turn that off. It isn't currently available in the beta version of Minecraft though. Lazy chunk loading needs to be turned on. Smart animations needs to be turned on. So that's kind of our settings there. Everything needs to be turned on on this. Now, there's one thing I'm going to be doing because we're trying to beat these FPS numbers, right? If we have smooth FPS on, it's actually going to reduce our FPS a little bit in order to have less fluctuation, right? So as you could see earlier, our FPS was wildly fluctuating. It was going from like, you know, on the low end 50 to the high end, or on the low end, you know, it was going from like 50 to 120. And on the high end, it was going from like 170 to 300, right? So huge fluctuations. Smooth FPS is going to make those fluctuations less. However, for the purpose of, of this, right, of us beating this FPS number, we're actually going to turn that off. Now, Smooth World is the same thing. I'm going to turn it off in this case. However, I would recommend both of these be turned on for you. That's going to give you the best, most smooth Minecraft result, but I'm obsessed with beating our FPS number, and because of that, we need to uh, we need to leave those off. So go ahead and click done there. And then last but not least, in the other tab, this doesn't matter too much. You know, nothing nothing in here is going to change your lag settings. The one cool thing is going to be the FPS being turned on. That's going to make FPS display all the time. That way I don't have to do the F3 thing, right? It's just going to be there. Turning weather off isn't going to make an effect on a server, but it can help. Same thing with time right here. That's going to be either, you know, day only, for example, it's going to be the least amount of lag, but it's not going to make a huge difference and it's not going to take effect on servers. Anyway, full screen should be off autosave. This is the last thing that I want to really talk about here, and that is autosave really and truly can be turned up. So for most people, I wouldn't recommend doing more than probably six minutes. However, you can turn it up to 24 minutes. Just be careful. You will lose up to 24 minutes of data if like you randomly close out of Minecraft and don't like click and done or save your world and stuff like that. Again, not something that's going to have an effect on a server, just local worlds. But if you're noticing you're playing Minecraft and every, you know, six minutes it's lagging while using Optifine, that means it's an autosave lag and you need to turn this up in order to stop that lag. Again, though, you could lose up to 24 minutes of like what you've been doing if that's the case. Now, show GL errors. This is one that I would recommend just be off. A lot of people will download Optifine and it'll be spamming chat with all of this like error and stuff like that. And it freaks them out. They're like, I don't want to use Optifine. 
That's just a normal part of Optifine. I don't know why it does that, but it's something how Minecraft and Optifine interact with each other. That can spam the chat. And if it does, just turn show GL errors here to off. And once that's done, you can click done. And at this point, you have set Optifine up. So we can click done, click done, come back here, and we're going to jump on Breakdown Craft. Now, this time, we don't have to do the FN and F3 thing or just press F3 on your keyboard, right? We don't have to do that because it's going to be showing up the entire time up here in the top left. Now, again, our top number before was 240, and our bottom one was 95. So from the start here, we are already getting up to 400 on our top number and 1 100 high 100s to mid 200s on the bottom number now it's not fair for me to just sit here so let's move around a little bit and make sure we can see how the fps goes now what's interesting about this is it's not moving much and that's one of the benefits of optifine and using this system we're not fluctuating too much right so our bottom number is moving more than our top number so our top fps number is definitely a lot higher all of the time and the bottom number might drop a bit but always recovers much much higher usually into the mid 200s so as we can see up here in the top left our fps is significantly higher before we had 240 as the first number and 95 as the second number on average there and now it looks like we have 401 high 300s too on the bottom number high 100s low 200s so very very good fps improvement what is your fps improvement in the description down below let me know i am very 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 curious to see it now one more thing i want to do here i actually want to go back into video settings and turn on smooth fps and smooth world and we're going to see how that affects the fps because it's going to make that number fluctuate a bit less it's still going to fluctuate right it's going to fluctuate that fps number but it's going to make it fluctuate just a hair less there while we're moving for example in this straight line you'll see like less big drops into like the you know 16 range and stuff and keep it more fluctuated or less fluctuating and there you go see you might see a drop to 65 but you're not seeing like a, you know 16 or 19 fps on the bottom number and the top number is definitely staying over 400 after we do that so awesome stuff there that is how you can increase your fps in minecraft stop lag and run around like crazy it is absolutely incredible if you guys have any questions about optifine let us know in the comment section down below and by the way you're getting this good of fps numbers really if you're running over 60 fps on the top first number there you can go in here and you can actually up your render distance right so we could come in here and up our render distance to 16 if we wanted to you know get some more get some more texture viewing out there it's a nice little house in the works whoa and um you know all that stuff so this is all options that you have and stuff that you can do look at mcmmo there what is this well this is play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse hopefully you've been testing at your own optifine experience here you've probably been in our lobby though but we do have two or three incredible servers with factions coming soon currently we have aquatic survival which is actually have what i'm in right now it's got a size shop based economy it's got jobs it's got mcmmo it is absolutely incredible it is a balanced slash shop based economy server we try our best to keep that shop balanced it's actually just redone to rebalance the shop so awesome stuff there then we do have medieval survival which is a player based economy so no slash shop but it's all player based it has crate keys custom ranks um MCMMO player jobs. It is an incredible community over there. And then we do have Skyblock as well, which is custom islands, OP enchants, unique challenges, tons and tons and tons of awesome stuff in Skyblock. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. We look over here on the left hand side. We'll see 108 players online right now on a random Wednesday at 4 o'clock. So thank you all so, so much for the support. Can't wait to see you online. Factions is coming soon for Breakdown Craft. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. And I am out. Peace.